Okay, the purpose of this is to show you how to create SPSS output for this lecture. You're going to need these instructions. Um, so we're going to con we're going to use SPSS, excuse me, to create a confidence interval estimate of the mean. Okay, print this out, read it. I've got screenshots and everything. I have some examples. When the sample size is greater than 30, we use the Z as in zebra table. Um, and then when sample size is smaller than that, we use the T as in Tom or Tango table. Okay, I'm going to use that example right here where sample size is small, sample size of 8. Okay, so open up SPSS. You're going to go analyze, compare means, one sample t test. Just like that. Move your variable over. I'm using this one for number of plate lunches. Okay, keep this at zero and push OK. You'll get two boxes. You're going to need both of these. Okay, but here's your sample size of eight. That should be a small n, by the way. SPSS is lame for not changing that. That is the mean. Added up all the eight numbers divided by eight. That's what it got. There's the standard deviation, the standard error of the mean. You're going to need to plug these into the formula. You do not need to compute the standard error of the mean because it's done it for you. Remember, that's it's the S over the square root of n. Okay, so it's the standard deviation over the square root of that. If you had too much time, you'd figure out that it actually equals that right there. Okay, so I ask you to plug the numbers into the formula. Okay, so in this case, my sample size is less than 30, so I would use a formula with the T is in Tom table. So you need to plug in the mean. So here's the mean, symbol for the mean. That's 5.12. See, 5.12. We have the standard error of the mean. This little thing right here with the carrot hat is the standard error of the mean. That's 0.718. See, 0.718. And then you need to get here where you need the T value because sample size is less than 30. You get that from the T is in Tango table. I gave you a little example of that. So it was 2.365. If you're using the Z is in Z table, zebra, you would use the examples up here. Okay. When all is said and done, you just all you need to do is show me this much. I don't need you to do any more math because over here is where the math will come out, and I don't want you to do it because you'll have errors due to rounding. Okay. <clears throat> so when all is said and done, we can be 95% confident that the number of plate lunches bought by the population is between 3.4 and 6.8. Since there's no such thing as 3.4 of a plate lunch, we might want to say we're 95% confident that the mean number of plate lunches is between 3 round that down to a whole number, and seven, round that up, okay? Again, you go analyze, compare means, one sample t-test, move your variable over, press OK, and you get these two boxes. You need them both in order to do the problem, okay? That's it. I'm trying to keep this short.